hey, so in this activity, we'll be using another variable to give our hero super speed. All right, to start out, we're going to upload a new sprite that we our, our hero wants to get. So for me, I, got, I saved a copy of a, a, a picture of honey to my desktop. So here's a thing of honey that my character will try and get because it's a butterfly. So all this code is already uploaded because I've done this before, I guess, which has already been associated with the honey. But I'll, I'll walk you guys through it. So, so initially, when we start out, the honey should go to the start, its starting position, and then every two seconds, it should pick a random position to go to. So it's just popping around the screen, and the butterfly is trying to go and get it. Then, I made a new variable called, um, called honey which counts up the amount of times I've collected honey. And then I can use this honey to go fast. So I can eat the honey and it'll give me energy, basically. So, so initially my honey is set to zero, but then, then if, I, it, if the honey is ever touched by the bee, it should go away, go to a random spot, and then appear again, since you don't want to collect infinite honey when you're standing on it. So now we can go back to the character's movement and actually getting the superpower of super speed. So basically, we want to use when, whenever we hit the space bar, we're calling the space bar. It can be any key if you want. Whenever we hit the space bar, we want to use a, a piece of honey and then move at a faster speed for some set amount of time. So first of all, you have to know whether you have honey, so ha honey eaten or honey available to eat. So to do this, you can have an if. To do this, you can have an if statement, which asks if honey is greater than zero. So if honey is greater than zero, then you're going to want to reduce your honey by one since you're eating some honey because you're going to, you know, your stock will go down by one. So the next step is the complicated part. So how do we, how does our sprite know that he can now move extra fast? So to do this, we can make a new variable called, let's just call it speed. So now when, um, when, our, when we eat a piece of honey, our speed changes to be equal to one. Just a random value greater than zero. So now we can check um, the speed, this value of speed, to know if you can move faster. So basically, I just, so so speed is going to increase by one. Then we're going to wait two seconds, and then speed will go back to zero. So speed will always ever only be zero or one. And if it's if it's one, then you're then you're you've eaten honey and you're ready to move fast. So now we can add if statements to our, our statements that ask if the up arrow has been pressed or the down arrow. And you can say if speed is greater than zero, then you know you've eaten honey and you know you have the energy to move fast. So now you can move an extra set of steps. So now you can change y by even more. Let's just change it by a lot so that we can move really fast. We're really fast flying now. So we're changing by, by, uh, by uh, 15 now. So now I've done it for all the other pieces, and let's test it out. So we got to collect honey, and then we can see now that our counter is increased. Now when we hit space, we're moving really fast. So we're moving slow now, hit space, we're moving really fast. So yeah, we've done it by adding a new variable, and this method can be used to make many other superpowers. Good luck.